My group uses lasers to experimentally measure thermal transport. We sort of pump the materials with heat and measure their temperature as a function of time. As the atoms vibrate, they carry heat. In soft materials, they carry heat poorly and the thermal conductivity is low, while in hard materials, like diamond, they carry heat effectively and the thermal conductivity is high. We find that crystals made from small molecules like C60, Buckminster fullerene, which has sort of the shape of a soccer ball and is used in organic electronics and solar cells. Materials made from uh, these molecules carry heat in remarkable and unique ways. Instead of just vibrating, the C60s also spin in place which makes their thermal conductivity low relative to just vibrating. Well, thermal transport affects a wide range of technologies, ranging from your burning hot laptop to LED light bulbs and batteries, which are presently limited by operating temperature. In this particular work on superatom solids, we find that they're potentially interesting for thermoelectric materials, which can be used to make refrigerators and air conditionings without moving parts. These kind of things can also convert waste heat from exhaust pipes and smokestacks into usable electricity. By actively freezing the rotation of the C60 soccer balls, it may be possible to switch the thermal conductivity from the high to the low state just by stopping the rotation. If we could do that, it would be possible to toggle the insulation value of building materials, control thermal batteries, or enhance the efficiency of thermoelectric devices. Our study of superatom solids really takes a very new material and tries to understand how the heat flows through it because that's going to be important if it's applied for many other applications or if we use it for the applications we have in mind like thermoelectrics and uh, thermal conductivity switches. Learning about heat transfer is important to a wide range of devices, whether it's the focus of that device, like in the case of power plants and nuclear reactors where heat transfer is essential to the performance or if it's just a parasitic thing like in your laptop or an LED light bulb that you need to deal with so these devices can function optimally.